Hello everyone and welcome to my very first review. I want to talk a little bit today about Schwalbe Marathon Plus Tour tires. But for those of you with short attention spans, I'm giving these tires five out of five chilies, which is a New Mexico ranking system, which means they are awesome tires by them. If you want a little bit more data, stay tuned. So I love things that last. My favorite camera is over 50 years old. I bought a titanium bicycle because conceivably it'll last for the rest of my riding life. And I also drive a Toyota Tacoma, which is historically one of the most reliable vehicles ever, and they last forever. The Schwalbe Marathon Plus Tour tires I have a couple of cons and a couple of pros that I want to go over. And one of the cons I think is valid and one is not so valid. The first con of this tire is that they're heavy. And I don't think there's any disputing that. When you get these in the mail or you pick them up at the bike shop, you can definitely feel the heft of these particular tires. There's a lot of lighter tire options available, especially in the gravel world. Apparently they're selling nine gravel bikes for every road bike. And I think it's great that gravel's exploding. I think partly the reason the gravel's exploding too is that people are afraid to ride on the roads. And in, in America, we don't do that much to help cyclists on the road yet. Hopefully we will at some point, but these tires are heavy. I think the second con is not so valid, but I think it's real, which is these are not considered cool tires in the gravel sphere. They are touring tires, they're not gravel tires. I think there's a lot of amazing tires being produced in the gravel space, and there are a lot of hip tires being produced in the gravel space, and I just wouldn't throw these into that category. So I don't think that that's a real con. However, I do think it's real that people kind of look at them because I've had people write up to me and say, why are you running tour tires on your gravel bike? And I'm gonna tell you why now. So I've got a couple of pros here I wanna talk about. The first one is that these are insanely durable tires. And this is not my first time buying Schwalbe tires. Uh, I had them on a Bike Friday 20 inch folding bike. Never had a single flat. They were incredible tires. And when I sold that bike, the tires still look brand new. I can say the same thing about my Trek 520. I had flat after flat. I went through different tire after different tire. I went to Schwalbe's, never had a single flat. And when I sold that bike, the tires look virtually brand new. So these things have what's called smart guard and there's films online of people driving over glass and tacks and everything. I've never done that on purpose, but over the last thousand miles, I have ridden these tires over things that should have given me a flat and never did. That to me is, it's nice. It's not a big deal changing a flat, but it is it is nice to not have to think about that and, uh, and just ride. So the second part is that these are, even though, like I said before, they're not designed for gravel, they are amazing gravel tires. And I spend about 50% of my time on the tarmac and 50% on gravel. And that gravel could be dirt road, fire road, or improved trail. In Santa Fe, there's quite a bit of improved trail. They're fantastic. The third part of this is that even pro, I guess you would say, is that even at high PSI, they have fantastic traction. So I typically run higher PSI than a lot of other people that I know because I spend so much time on the tarmac. I wanna fly on the tarmac and get by on the gravel. And so even at high PSI, if I'm standing and cranking on something steep and relatively loose, I still get good traction. There's a little bit of wheel slip, but it's not bad. So overall, these tires have been by far the best bike tires I've ever had. And as you can see by the tread wear, these already have a, almost 1,100 miles on them. And I'm guessing based on how much tread's left, and I'm rotating the tires every thousand miles, I can probably get at least 5,000 miles out of these. And to me, for the price that I paid, and for the durability that I'm getting, the traction that I'm getting, the ease of running these tires, that to me is a pretty remarkable investment. And that is why I wanted to review these. So good luck and get riding.